a set. Ready. Play. Fifteen left. That's exactly how she started last night. Ninety five miles an hour. I think one of the keys, apart from the serve of Serena, is the fact that Pliskova doesn't move quite as well as certainly a Halep or a number of other players. That's what Serena will have to take advantage of when she can. And there were times last night when she didn't get Halep moving early in points. And, you know, she paid the price for that. She'll have a little easier time doing that tonight. Game Williams. Maybe some nervous strokes in there. First game. You start to see that when Pliskova serves. Well, it was probably smart for Pliskova to return first. And clearly some nerves early on. She was able, at least able to get a few swings of the racket and, and maybe get some of those nerves out because she can't afford to come out flat on her serve and lose serve early on. That would be a big advantage to Serena. Karolina Pryskova to serve. Fifteen line. This is going to be a quick match, you know, quick points. Who's going to maintain their, the mental edge early in these rallies? There you go, first ace. 113. 30, 15. These are the types of serves that Pliskova can hit all night. We saw it against Venus. All right, so that serve, as you said, is going to be something for Serena to deal with. Well, I think it's also going to be a different kind of mental effort for Serena because she's playing someone who can serve just as big in most cases. And she's got to really focus that much more on her service games. How's Pliskova's movement on the court? She's not going to move as well as Halep, as an example, who Serena played last night. Much different match. Oh. 
And I think in many ways that will make it easier on Serena because she won't have to worry about these long, drawn-out rallies where she's fencing for position. She'll be able to get Pliskova off the court within one or two balls. Williams is telling the call right baseline. Oh, I thought that was way out. Was called in. Guess not. 30 15. Williams has two challenges remaining. That's what Serena is going to have to guard against. The second That's serve one. didn't move Pliskova. Allowed her to take a bit of target practice there. We have a first break point. 30 14. Venus here again. There we go. So a service break gets everybody's attention here in the semifinals of the U.S. Open. Two games to one. Percent. Time. Find your seats, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Seats, please. Karolina Pliskova in her first U.S. Open semifinal. If she had nerves, it seems like they're long gone. Chanda, she hit some great shots, and Serena's got a little bit of an issue here she's got to deal with. Well, now she's down a break, and Pliskova, she can hold serve on her own. It's an uphill battle now for Serena. Trying to get back on serve. 15 love. And these are, this is the type of match for Serena where she's got to be just a little bit better with her footwork, a little quicker off the ball, because this is first strike tennis through and through. This is impressive. She won't have the same kind of time, Serena, to work her way into points the way she did with Simona Halep. Pliskova already two aces, a game and a half. Now three. Coach has a lot to work with. 
He's got some firepower, this player. The motion is so smooth. What well, gives you a better appreciation for you know, how well Venus played against Pliskova two rounds ago. Venus went toe to toe, was moving well. Serena's going to have to make shots like that. And it started with the footwork there. Took a couple of extra steps to get into position. Serena started with the return, then stepped in, was on balance. Really got that racket head through beautifully. And that's the type of shot that's the opposite of that last one. No footwork, lunging for that return. And well wide. And let Pliskova off the hook there. Remember, go to usopen.org and find out everything you need to know about the 2016 U.S. Open. It's history, it's players, highlights, stats, and the U.S. Open store. It's all at usopen.org. It's just wide. So that first serve was actually good, we're told from the tape room. Serena should have called for the challenge. Now it's 15-30. Things were going so well. <laughs> she obviously was in that no man's land position, but not the strongest area for Pliskova at this point. Second serve is an issue. She's won only two of six. That's well done from Pliskova. She's doing a little bit of everything. She's seeing the ball well, moving well, that net cord. Took her a little bit off guard, but she made the adjustment. And Serena just a little slow again, and Pliskova took advantage. Yes. This is just going to be a big mental effort for both players, but for Serena in particular, because she's not used to playing players that can serve like this. She has to be a little more methodical in her service games, the way she was there. 
You know, she's used to blowing through so many matches. I would think that there's got to be part of her that finds this whole challenge very refreshing. I would think so. I mean, this is a very interesting matchup. That's a big time serve for Serena because it prevents the break. So she can still think about coming back in this first set. 3 2. Time. Sit, please. Thank you. Number one, Serena Williams versus number two, Karolina Pliskova. And Serena is still down a break in this first set. Fifteen love. She's ten of thirteen first serves in. And she's got easy power, Pushkova on that serve. Very simple motion. Great forwards and backwards momentum. When you're playing against a big server like Pushkova, you have to start with the intensity, the mental intensity, before you ever get up to the line because you only have one shot at getting to the ball. You've got to try to read it early, pick it up off, off the toss. Let and the first step is critical. So those feet have to get moving. And that's a good play from Serena, but still a little bit slow, if you notice, getting back into the court after she hits the ball. And that's one area that she was really only pushed last night, Serena, against Halep. That's where Serena has the clear advantage. She's been here before and may deal with the nerves just a little bit better. Thinking about it. It's a big serve. 40, 30.
Hughes. How about that? The two, second double fault. Two double faults in this game. return from Serena and, and that's what she can't afford and this is a player who's showing you that she's tight throws you a second serve and you don't even put it on her racket And Serena pays the price there. Great second Ms. serve. If you look at this match thus far, you really compare Serena to Venus. I think Venus moved a lot better than Serena has so far. She was quicker off the ball. Fifteen. She's just not, not looking sharp. No, and and that's that's going to pose a problem if she doesn't make a change and settle in here. Love thirty. Just standing straight up on that backhand, not getting any ground force reaction from the legs. Forced error of the match for Serena gives Plishkova three breakpoint opportunities for a second break of serve. It's taken only 22 minutes for this to be stunning. Forced errors and Serena loses her serve in He's rapid order and Plushkova will now serve for the first set here at the U.S. Open. Carolina Pliskova serving for the first set in the semifinal match against the number one seed Serena Williams. Oh. 
It's really been a combination of Pushkova's play and Serena not not having a response and not making good shots. Being a little slow off the mark, not having quite the level of intensity that she needs. And missing balls by a lot. That backhand well long. And that shows Pliskova on the other side of the net that you know, I don't have to be quite as nervous. She's giving me shots by a large margin. Or intimidated. Or intimidated. about the service game, previous service game for Pushkova, where she double faulted Quentin twice. And at due second serve, Serena missed the return well wide. Those are the things that relaxes the person on the other side of the net. It's good. Wondering where Pliskova would be in terms of her nerves and handling the moment, and she's done a great job. That's a fabulous shot. Gives her a couple of set points. Serena can't handle the serve and couldn't handle Pliskova in that first set. Wow. 26 minutes, and the first set is in the books, 6-2. Carolina Pliskova is handling everything. The lights, the stadium, the circumstance, Serena Williams. I mean, she closed out that set like it was no biggie. She's showing why she's been a top player for quite a while now and wow, why people have been waiting for her to make these types of moves in Grand Slams. a different looking Serena. The challenge for Serena will be to sustain that type of play, that type of point over and over, and she hasn't been able to do that thus far. Off balance there. Not taking her time and setting up. 
still clearly on edge. Wow. And how easy Pliskova made that return look. And she's reading the Williams serve so nicely. Of course, that serve didn't move her enough, but she made short work of it. from Serena there. Pliskova is making her work. You have to like how Pliskova went at the Serena serve. Even though she lost that point, she cut the serve off. She went at an angle. That's why she's been able to get on more of those serves. from Serena. Break point. Pliskova was on her racket, but it got a little bit out of her strike zone, a little more spin and kick on that serve, and she just couldn't handle it. Bit of a missed opportunity, perhaps. Well, she's trying to scream her way into the tempo of this match. Once again, the serve getting Serena out of trouble, as it did time and time again. Last night. That's a big hole to give her some confidence in the second set. That's great to see Pushkova coming out the way she did, having the opportunities in that first set and capitalize on and on them, capitalizing on them and taking advantage of Serena not quite being there in the teeth of that set. Important points, and that's what you have to do as a player. You're gonna get some opportunities against Serena, and you have to take advantage, and Pliskova has done that beautifully so far. Serena yet to have a break point. That's a better, better serve from Pliskova. And she's been consistently serving in that 110 to 115 range. That's very manageable for her. Oh. 
Oh, turns beautiful. on Serena's racket, and she's not getting them back against a big server. That's the challenge, is getting it on your racket. And when you're able to do that, you've got to make, make the person at least play. Few serves from Plushkova that didn't move Serena enough. I wonder what Venus is thinking after having played this opponent a few nights ago. Sounded and looked a little bit more like Serena in that game. It did. She's trying to get herself to the level of intensity that she needs to be point in and point out. And it's tough for Serena now because she can't get as into the service games as she's used to. Into her return games, I should say. that she didn't hear a let. It's called by a machine. So there's very little you can do. I heard Serena say, I'm sick of you. <laughs> that's an indicator of her mental state, not necessarily anything that's gone on in the match with the chair. Last night during the match when things weren't going well, she told our cameraman during a changeover to get away from her. <laughs> yes. He was too close. Oh. So oh. Just still on edge. And you can see it in, in some of the matches when things get a little tight within games, haven't quite gone her way. You see it a little bit in her face. This match is at a whole nother level because of the opponent. And what she's oh, having like to contend it. with out there. Solidly, but again, right to Plushkova. Still a couple of more game point opportunities. Serena holds, and that's good. But she still hasn't seen a break point.
time. Find the seats, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sit quickly, please. Pleshkova of the Czech Republic having her way. Can she hold serve again? We're 40 minutes into this match. She hasn't had an ace in a while. Pliskova, her first serve percentage has dropped off just slightly in that last game. And to start this game. And she's still getting some misses from Serena like that one. 16 unforced errors. And this is part of what Pliskova has struggled with in bigger matches. Clearly, the nerves, a factor for her. Well, it's a good move from Serena and had the volley on her racket. Just couldn't handle it. And that's going to be called an unforced. So she's at 17 now. See, I would call that a forced error because the, the state of the match forces her to do something she doesn't normally do. True. But it was on her racket and very manageable. I just felt like arguing with you. I like it. <laughs> Left. Second serve. And that second serve, 76 miles per hour. Tip the net. Pliskova taking a lot off to try to get it in. Yes. And then she comes up with that serve. Pliskova. That's a way to counter a double fault. If I'm not mistaken, she's had a serve like that after all three or four of the double faults. She's come back strong. That's been why you know, she's maintained the lead. Another ace. Bang, bang. We're still on serve, two all. That's why it's so key for Serena to capitalize on the opportunities that she's had where she's gotten that ball back. She's been in, in the points and she's just missed Serena. Find out about these players, other players, the men's draw, it's all at usopen.org. 
And this isn't a normal match where you know, Serena can Good make mistakes and then recover and have it on her racket. Some of these points are on Pliskova's racket. And there's very little that Serena can do about it. So when she gets her opportunities, she has to take it. And, and Serena struggled with that in this match. The other challenge, Al, is you're not going to get as much of a rhythm in this type of match because it's such big hitting off short, the serves. Short points. Short points. So you've got to be ready to go. And there you go. Not ready for that return. Deep shot on the baseline. A good return from Pliskova. But not ready for it. This could be the match right here. It very well could be if Pushkova doesn't get nervous after breaking. This is trouble time for Serena Williams. Shot from Pushkova. And you can tell she knows the size of this moment. 3 2, she's in front. Carolina Pushkova is in a really good spot. Meanwhile, by her own standards, Serena Williams did not look good last night, and she has not looked sharp here tonight. Pushkova's up a break and up a set. done from Serena. I think part of the problem for Serena last night, and she Welcome served great as she has been serving, but it was within points that she struggled a little bit to dictate. You know, and it was Halep dictating and competing well. And tonight, a little bit of the same in terms of, you know, tr having trouble dictating against Pliskova within these points. And Serena's not serving as well tonight, so that's why we see the score line. And she can only hope that she gets some of that from Pliskova, who hasn't been in this moment before in her career.
This is the first game that Serena has had break points. No, the second game. Didn't she, did she have one break point? No, she never got she it to that. She did not. So now she has three in a row. Let the serve. Let the serve. Suddenly, Pliskova doesn't look that overwhelming. Not ready, Pliskova, to handle this moment. And it was there. Didn't make Serena play. Double fault on one point. Couple of missed ground strokes. And Serena's back in business in this second set. So much for mom momentum. Wow, two double faults to start this game after the game that Pliskova played to lose serve. The crowd trying to get behind Serena and lift her up here. Turn, a good move from Pliskova on the return. Just couldn't execute. She stepped well in, cut that ball off. Had the chance to put Serena in some real trouble. That's about as much expression as you'll see from Venus. This is a struggle for her to watch. Sense of changing here a little bit. Wow. Well, you saw slow getting up. She didn't get up quickly, set up where she could go either way. With the way Serena moved up to that ball, she had to go cross court, and Pliskova was there anyway. She got to get up to that ball much more quickly so you can go down the line or cross court.
Ezekiel. It was trouble on that swinging volley from Serena. And she got up to it, didn't quite get enough angle on that shot, and Pliskova stayed in there. for Pliskova. This hit there. She's not the same player right now that she was back in the first set. No. And a few more unforced errors coming into play. Just pulled off that last forehand. A lot more tension in the match than was in that first set. Let us up. Pliskova wants to be sure, but that ball looked clearly out. Yikes. That's clearly out now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the loudest come on of the night. Serena Williams, hold serve. She's got to have it here in the second set. Back in New York City on serve in the second set. Pliskova of the Czech Republic, a stunning 6-2 win in the first set. She had a service break, but Serena Williams broke back, and that's where we are right now. Pliskova served one of the worst games of the match for her, played one of her, the worst service games of the match, and needs to recover here. And that's a good start. To get broken, she double faulted in the game, a couple of missed 
falls off the ground. Helps to get that first serve in. And all of a sudden, since that last service game, Serena has played just a little bit cleaner. A little more intensity as well. But it's been those types of shots that have kept Serena struggling in this match more than she needs to. And that's, again, the type of shot you have to put back on your opponent's racket. It's tough enough to return her serve, Pliskova. Serena's got to make those returns. 14, 15. The sixth double fault of the match for Pliskova, the fourth in this set. Yeah, That's nicely done. Check player covered well after that double fault, and she's done that time and time again. Comes up with some of her biggest serves after double faulting and got up to that ball very nicely. Now, can Serena come up with some big first serves for herself? You just see the tension there on Serena's face. Much more expressive. Pliskova is the exact opposite. You see very little on her face. Even though she, you know she's feeling it at times. Best serves of the match from Serena in terms of speed and placement. Serena puts the pressure back on Pushkova, and we'll see how she handles it. You know Serena will be trying to do everything she can.
time. Winners and unforced errors. Look how even it is. Carolina Pliskova. Up a set. 4-5 on serve here in the second. Of course, Serena has visions of somehow finding a way to break her serve here and now. She starts it off with a big serve. Oh, with the way this match has gone and see her seed there trying to give some encouragement she looks like she is just not happy impressed with this right now with the way this match has gone this is about the best position serena could be in on serve forcing plishkova to hold serve to stay in the set Serena does what she has to with that second serve. And this is the time to put the pressure on Pliskova, keep the pressure on her by making balls that are on her racket. If Serena can do that, I figure she can live with it. That's the type of miss 40, that is just detrimental to Serena's efforts right now. Oh, nicely done from Pliskova. Great recognition and excellent execution. Saw Serena leaning. And then she barely moved. Third violation, coaching, warning, Ms. Pliskova. Code violation, warning, coaching. Somebody saw something. And there's a very clear line between encouragement and trying to tell players specifically what to do out there. Serena. She's pulled a few of those shots wide. So you see Plishkova's coach there, and you could definitely tell him, see that he's telling her specifically what to do on that backhand side. He got caught. But she held. <laughs> Plishkova keeping the pressure on Serena from the ground.
That drop shot looked like trouble initially when Serena hit it. But it was just good enough. Pliskova couldn't quite do enough with it. And Serena followed it up beautifully. Now Serena puts the pressure back on the check. She must hold to force a tiebreak. These next few minutes will contain some of the toughest points Karolina Pliskova has ever played in her career. She's 24, Serena's 34, and there's a lot on the line here. She took the first set with some good serving and a lot of unforced errors from Serena 6-2, but this second set has been really much tighter. Best returns that Serena has hit all night. Love the Stepping inside the court, cutting the angle off, giving herself a lot of margin and lane to hit through. Pushkov has only won three out of her 14 second serves. The problem for Serena is that she's had trouble doing that on the first serve. Pliskova keeping pressure here. 112 mile per hour serve. We saw the angle that Serena took on that first second serve return, and she's not cutting the first serve off the same way. It's more difficult to do. You have to take an angle at that ball to have a chance. Oh. And this is now pressure time for Pliskova. Big miss, opportunity missed for Serena and Pliskova. She's got to be taking a huge breath of relief there. Yeah. 
Well, there's some emotion from her. She forces the tiebreak that could win her this match. That was a big hold for the Czech player. Forcing it into a tiebreaker where Serena certainly has the advantage. But you can throw that out the window when you consider how this match has gone tonight. Pliskova, she's certainly still with the momentum. And Serena's giving Pliskova exactly what she could have hoped for these last few points. And it's interesting how that match against Venus went to a tiebreaker in the third. And similarly, Venus, the very first point of the tiebreaker, missed the first ball. And Pliskova just rolled from there. And Serena now in some real trouble. Second serve. It was. It got up a little bit out of the strike zone for Serena. She didn't have any footwork to get that ball down and get spin on that shot. Is, is not over by any means, but if Serena loses this match, she will lose the number one ranking. That's a given. how hard these points are going to be. You can't say there isn't drama in this match. We've had it all. There have been some pressure moments. None more so than now. Just think about how many times Serena has gotten herself out of matches like this one over the course of her career. Can she do it again? A 
Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> And if, you, if Serena comes back and wins this, you have to say that is the point of the match, the turning point. Man, was that a clutch shot. Thank you. Ready for play now? Thank you. Thanks very much. Did that just happen? Oh. That just happened. After that last point, to double fault. Another big backhand. And in the middle of that point, it looked like it was Pliskova stepping in and taking control. Serena just changed it in one swing. That's a great point from Pliskova. This time in the match, after shots that Serena has made, that is solid playing. That's a huge point. Off a big return from Serena. And Pliskova weathers the storm. Set up a match point. Unreal. Serena Williams double faults Carolina to the final of the 2016 U.S. Open. It happens in straight sets. Tonight, Serena does not find a way. Two double faults in the tiebreak. What a big moment for Karolina Pliskova and Serena still holding her head high as she walks off the court, acknowledging the applause.
you can clearly see the disappointment on her face. And that last point is evidence, the double fault to lose the match and the number one ranking. Well, which Carolina Plushkova is it going to be? The one that played the first set or the one that played the second set? She did what she needed to do in both sets. Very impressive playing from her. Taking a deep breath there before talking to Pam Shriver. I'm looking eye to eye to a U.S. Open finalist. Can you just repeat to this crowd what you just said to me as you were walking up? I said I don't believe it. <laughs> and why not? I mean, actually, I do believe it. I always knew I have a chance uh, to beat anyone if I'm playing my game. But this is something amazing, and I'm really excited to be in the final, and especially to beat a player like this. Uh, she, you know, Serena, she's a champion, so it's never easy to play her. You saw it even if she was down, side on a break, she's still fighting, so it was very hard. But I'm really happy that I stayed there and uh, get the win. In the second set, you had some troubles with your serve, your big weapon, some double faults. You actually held serve despite serving two double faults. How important was that for you to weather the storm? I mean, yeah, I did few double faults today, but she's going full power into every my second serve, so you have to risk a little bit the second serve. But I mean, I still think um, the serve was today the key why won. Okay, you're either going to play Angelique Kerber the world's new number one. She should thank you a lot for that. Or Wozniacki. Do you even care who you play in your first major final? No, not really. Um, I had a goal today to beat Serena. That, that's what I did. I have day off tomorrow, so I'll get ready for my next opponent. Uh, I don't care who is there in the final. Congratulations. Just a stunning semifinal result. Thank you very much.